It's Friday. Phil Lindemann with your midday news on Crystal 93. The Colorado River is getting a new whitewater park and maybe two more in the future. Aspen Journalism reports that City of Glenwood Springs just won a lengthy water court battle. It gives them the green light for new boat ramps and whitewater features in three locations, No Name, Horseshoe Bend, and Two Rivers. For now, the city is building just one structure at one site to be determined. Planning is in the works. A wind energy company with farms in Colorado is paying millions in fines for killing bald eagles. The Colorado Sun reports on the sentencing for Next Era Energy. Turbines at farms in eight states killed at least 150 bald eagles, worth $8 million in fines. Bald eagles are no longer endangered, but killing any migratory bird is illegal under federal law. Colorado conservatives are suing the state over transportation fees. The Sun reports on the lawsuit, which claims new fees on gas purchases, deliveries, and even Uber rides violate the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. Those fees were approved by Democrats last year. Sponsoring the lawsuit are two conservative policy groups and Republican state Senator Jerry Sonnenberg. At 16 years old, Liliana Lopez became an older sister whether or not she was ready for it. I was used to like having to mature at a young age, having my parents working all the time and kind of looking out after myself. And so when that big change happened, I was like very nervous because I was going to be having to help out look after another person. The senior at Summit High School wrote about her new little sister, Shayla, for a scholarship essay, comparing her family to sitting down for dinner at a big, unstable table. When I felt like really anxious about that, I referenced it to like water spilling over, but then she was like the dessert that we needed at the end. Earlier this week, at the annual scholarship dinner, Liliana's essay won $20,000 from the Summit Foundation. I was planning to work more over the summer. We were talking about maybe a year or two in order to gather Mm -hmm. some money that we could. But yeah, when that night came, everything kind of took place and it was like meant to be. Liliana says that scholarship is the only reason she's going to college. Her parents are proud and relieved. They started in the restaurant industry around my age right now, and that kind of inspired me to find my own way to make my own business. She is now the first in her family to graduate high school and attend college. Liliana goes to CSU Fort Collins in the fall, where she studies landscape architecture and business. Keystone is selling trail signs and a classic two-pack for a cause. A 24-hour auction opens today, right now at noon, selling over 40 trail signs plus one of the original chairs from Argentine Lift. Proceeds benefit Epic Promise. Find that auction on the Keystone website. Avalanche danger is improving in the Vale Summit County zone today. Danger is moderate above treeline. It is low at and below treeline. Conditions could be changing with warm weather and sun. Check the forecast. In sports, the Nuggets beat the Grizzlies last night 122-109. to Today, the Avalanche play the Jets at 6, and the Rockies open the season at home with the Dodgers. First pitch is 2-10. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Summit High Boys Lacrosse plays Aspen at home today. Girls Lacrosse is down at Eagle Crest. Baseball's back in action for Palisade Way. Soccer travels to Glenwood Springs, and Tigers track and field competes at Jeffco Stadium. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.